Hello, if you recommend your who reviews. And I'm going to my the anime series, Tools of the Trade. And in this, Detective Ed Dan Turpin tries to take down this uh, gang called Intergang, especially after one of the reporters uh, slags the police force of uh, always need Superman's help. Especially uh, after uh, Superman sees up a tank that uh, Dan uh, believes was uh, was uh, owned or used by a uh, intergang to break into a bank or something. And uh, Superman just stopped it, but Anyway, the boss of the intergang named Bruno Mannheim is just as fr frustrated since he can't really do anything about the Superman. Uh, then this uh, man named Kanto shows up, and he he gives uh, Bruno Mannheim and the intergang some interesting uh, weapons, including this uh, glove that makes like a like it's, I don't know, it's holographic, or just as a psychic uh, hand sort of thing that has a super strength. And when Dan looks over the wall, he is just uh, shocked. Wait, wait, what he sees. And then he also gives him a uh, canto, he can get, gives him a, it's a, do a laser gun thing. And. Dad will try to tell uh, Maggie Sawyer who I think is in charge of the Metropolis Police, but I always thought she was uh, Turpin's partner. But, I don't know. Um, he does try to tell her about a kind of disappearing in the gust of wind. Later on, it's own, it was a boom tube. But they're a name, but if you no DC comics like um, some of the fans of DCAU, you know what Boon Tube is. Anyway, uh, in the next slide, it's to uh, uh, cause a train wreck with the psychic gloves. And yeah, they do give Superman some trouble. and But he's able to come back from it and that save. A Turpin and Sawyer when their car is flown into the air. And Turpin's ego gets uh, more bruised when Sawyer says he wants to bring uh, Superman on the case officially. And Turpin just, just uh, pulls in his bed, or just uh, drops his badge. Yeah, and according to Sawyer, it isn't really the first time, so yeah. And while Turpin's just listening, in on uh, Bruno Mannheim's house, Kanto shows up and has another uh, piece of technology that wraps uh, Turpin up and he gives uh, Bruno Mannheim a gun that they says can uh, destroy even the most invulnerable person. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Superman just uh, races to uh, Bruno Mahan's that uh, place since he expects that the Turpin probably try to take him down there. And yeah, he's able to they get past uh Turp through uh, Mahheim's uh, goons and take out the weapons. But he has uh, some trouble and Mahheim uses the gun that Ka uh, Kanto gave him. Um but when Mannheim well, put the gun on full power about blast Superman Turp as he saved him and got out of uh, his restraints. And so I was able to get the like, story going with laser vision. Yeah. Um Mannheim was uh, freaking out and just begs Kanto to uh, help him by giving him something. The uh, Kanto refuses, saying that uh, Mannheim had his chance, but failed. 
Um, they think he the uh, uh, man hunter they want to get put into prison. He yes, he uh, follows Kanto through the boom tube, and perhaps is uh, interviewing the uh, the Turpin and the the poor for the TVs. A uh, rising a uh, turban that uh, saying Superman to save his bacon again, but Superman just goes up saying he's like he'll run around and yeah, now a uh, turban and Superman are on the front of your terms. But uh, Mannheim is literally in a world of uh, hell when uh, Kanzler introduces him to his boss, Dark Side. Yeah, I think it is a good introduction to uh, the new gods of Apocalypse. I think uh, Gay Kanto is a, does a good character. He just shows that he is a bit more refined and polite than some of the other uh, generals that like Darkseid has. I think I'm around him. Well, uh, Brumaheim is a good character, and he, uh, he kind of shows that with the technology, technology that uh, Kanto gave him, he got a bit power hungry since he's yeah, saying to uh, to Turpin that with the, with, the, with, the, with the stuff that he got, he can not only take over a metropolis, but he can take over the world. And this is a guy that runs a street gang. You know. And I do like a uh, Dan Turpin, in this he he, he his character m was modeled after uh, Jack Kirby with the way he looks and his uh, personality. Yeah, I don't know if he has like an anger problem or if he's just stubborn or whatever. As a media, he always looks like he's angry. Ugh, don't know. Um, yeah, I don't think he yes, he uh, hates uh, Superman for help now. I, t I think he's he was just a little embarrassed and wants to prove that the police force can't handle the the, the big stuff and say he does uh, treat Superman a bit better when he when he defend him from the from the press, so hmm. And in the future episodes, I already reviewed that show that he is uh, on some friendlier terms with the Man of Steel. Uh, yeah, Dark Side might, might as well say it's all about the end of this episode, but he leaves a little bit of an impression with Michael Ironside doing the voice. <sighs> and, uh, what? Well, awesome. Mm. Yeah, the technology that the uh, Kanto gave Mannheim. Wouldn't the what do you think the glows better if they weren't if they're just like a a person super strong? I have like the psychic uh, hands thing or whatever. But uh, that's my, my opinion. And uh, yeah, just uh, until next time. I'll see you guys later.